Hi everyone, welcome to Inorganic Chemistry Lab. Yes, this is a research lab that you can see here. I believe most of you must wonder what are we doing in this lab here. Well, we can do many works in this lab. For example, synthesizing, refluxing, column chromatography, and recrystallizations. However, without fundamental knowledge of chemistry, you are not able to perform this work. Therefore, I would like to invite you all to join us in this online course called Inorganic Chemistry. My name is Tai Meng Guan, who is one of the instructors for this online course. I share this course with my colleague, Madam Dayang. There are four topics that will be covered in this online course. The first two topics will be handled by me and the other two topics will be handled by Madam Dayang. In the first topic, it is related to atomic structure. You will learn about the electron configurations, how to name an electron, and the calculation of the energy in an orbital. Whereas in topic 2, we will learn how to draw molecular orbital diagram. When two atoms overlap to each other, a molecule is formed. Therefore, we need to know how the electrons are filled into molecular orbitals. Besides of molecular orbital diagram, we also need to learn the geometry of a molecule. I believe some of you may start to think or wonder what are these molecular orbitals. Come on, please join me to my online course and I will tell you in more detail. Hi, I'm Dayang Norafizan with the Awang Chi. I'm one of the instructors for this inorganic chemistry course. In this course, I will help you to learn on the oxidation and reduction, which is in Learning Unit 3, and also the periodic table of elements in Learning Unit 4. In Learning Unit 3, you will learn on how to differentiate between oxidation and reduction process, and also to calculate the oxidation number of an element in a compound. Besides, you will learn on how to calculate the electropotential value of an electrochemical cell. You will also learn on how to determine the spontaneity of a reaction by calculating the Gibbs free energy value of a reaction. Whereas in Learning Unit 4, you will learn on the chemical and physical characteristics of elements in periodic table. So, what are you waiting for? See you all in this Inorganic Chemistry Online course offered by University Malaysia Sarawak.